So yeah, I would, you know, you would do the countdown. The countdown was like, you know, cutting down for your, preparing for your death, like waiting to surrender. And you'd feel the coldness and it, the coldness just going through your veins. And it's really indescribable. It's hard to, you know, it's like ice going through your veins. And the next thing that would happen besides my racing heart is this burning sensation would happen on the back of my neck. I mean, this was reliable. This is like clockwork. This happened every time that you, that you shot me up with the MT. And then there'd be a hum and the hum would get louder and louder. And to the point where it broke apart everything that I was or knew, it was just this I just got louder and louder until you just had to surrender to the sound. And then you were there. There were colors and stuff like that, but then you were there. And there during our sessions was a sort of landing bay. I remember it being dome-like, but multi-dimensional, more than three-dimensional dome. However, you figure that out. And the texture of the space was very much like a, uh, like a Mexican, an animated Mexican tile. So it seemed to be hyper vivid in color in a technicolor sense, but also very clay-like in earth, you know, like with an earthen, pointing towards earth, but not really being of earth. Um, and I was usually on some sort of landing bed that was very akin to the bed that I was sitting on, the body was sitting on. And there was, there were those little guys running around doing something very important, not really paying attention to me at all at this space. And there was one woman who was sort of in charge. And she too, I couldn't get a good grip on how she was, what she had to do there. There's all these guys running around doing very important things. They it seemed to know that I was there, but not care too much. The woman was, uh, seemed to be of sort of African, Cleopatrian sort of descent. Um, but every time I looked at her, her face would go completely blank. She would keep her hairline. She'd, uh, you know, there'd be like sort of, not quite dreadlocks, but thick, thick curls, bangs. But her face would go smooth like a polished granite or gravestone. I'd look away, or my tension would shift away, and she'd be full-featured face, lovely African-American features, African features. And then, I'd look back and it would go straight. And she would, uh, they were running tests on me as, as far as I could tell. They were checking out my astral body, what it was doing, they were doing measurements. It was like in those cartoons when you stand behind a screen and there's uh, x-rays and you could see sort of, but they were doing that with my various energy centers, chakras, and they were going through all of them with these bzz, 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 and sort of checking them out, tuning them is what I figured out when I landed. Um, but the drag is as soon as you kind of get your bearings and sort of make sense, tell, us, tell yourself a story about what's happening, as soon as you sort of get into that groove, you leave. You're like, it starts to fade away. You're, you, you, you go. And so, so it feels like just when the party starts, the trip ends. And then you're back. But when I came back, that high dose time, my body couldn't handle it. 
you know, it was either maybe, you know, could have been just the adre my adrenals like going overcharged, but when I landed in my body, I was in convulsions. I was shaking. It was such a rough landing. I remember just having the time of my life and at the same time, my body just rejected the energy, rejected me coming back to a large degree. I've since read a little bit about like Kundalini experiences and stuff like that, and it's, there are parallels. But my body just did not know how to process that extra energy. I definitely had blockage, even though the um, DMT spirits, I feel, did their best to tune my chakras. I still feel like my physical body was just not prepared for something of that magnitude. So I was shaking and shivering and in convulsions for a long time. 